hope that everyone is uh, doing well tonight. Um, and it's a great opportunity for me to uh, share my experience using Flutter for the web. Um, okay, uh, today discussion, we will talk about why Flutter web and how it works. And then I will uh, include with the simple code demo of how to write your first Flutter app on the web. So a quick introduction about myself. My name is is uh, Leah Chuk, and I'm the program lead at the Women Tech, uh, the program sponsor and endorsed by the US concept Ho Chi Minh City. I'm also the product strategist at On the Lock in Saigon High Tech Park and Women Tech Maker Ambassador for Vietnam. I do enjoy experiment a wide range of uh, technologies, and um, I want to make technical more, more accessible for everyone and to use that to empower more people. I actually even try to teach my cat how to code. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so um, just a quick questions for you guys. Uh, which web development frameworks are you using? Uh, please feel free to comment in the chat box. And if you're any uh, Flutter user here, please also let us know. So whether it's React, Angular, Vue.js, Rails, or Diangle, or Flutter, just let us know. Okay, so why I explore, uh, explore Flutter web? I do believe that when you bring the application into the web browser, it will open up a lot of opportunities. And when it's come to Flutter, it's the practicality of using Flutter uh, in one code base across multiple platforms, whether it's mobile, web development, desktop, or whatever it else. And um, when I first heard about uh, the uh, material designs, I just fell in love with it immediately. Um, this is based on the um, very important um, leverage of using the UI development approach that the Flutter team has been pursuing since the beginning. So when I learned that the material design is incorporating with Flutter, I was so thrilled to pick up Flutter immediately. And last but not least, I want to explore uh, Flutter so that I can be ready when there's more production quality arrive in the future. So here's some example of the uh, Flutter web application that's been built. You can easily find that on the Flutter web showcase. And um, one significant um, application that's been built um, using the Flutter web support is Answer. It's the no-code tool for building better storytelling web app pages. Um, you can explore this in, in your own time. And just a quick uh, demonstration uh, for you guys to see um, how an actual uh, web page is being built using Flutter Web. As you can see, that is is look um, you know similar um, in 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 any other way uh, that be, whether it's being built by other uh, framework. Um, however, this is uh, slow, a little bit low in the performance at the moment, but um, so far is still um, good for for a very uh, basic, simple um, web application. Okay, so when we uh, come down into you know the components of the traditional web web page, um, there's three important pillars of the website. As we all know, is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, each for different um, roles, such as structure, style, and function. In Flutter web, um, it's all written in Dart. So with the web support, you can compile existing Flutter codes written in Dart into a client experience that can be embedded into the browser and deployed to any uh, web server. So um, here's an example of the styling and layout of Flutter um, in the simple Hello World. So when I'm doing a little bit of the research, um, I found this uh, very uh, interesting um, uh, concept from uh, Kevin Moore, he's the product manager for Flutter and the Dart uh, web technology. So the core goals of an efficient web framework is this. It has to be secure, linkable, indexable, composable, affordable, and especially updatable. So these are the core goals um, of the guiding light of the Flutter team since the beginning to, to building this uh, Flutter web framework. Okay, so how it works. So the Flutter support um, the generation of the web content render using the standard based web technology. As I mentioned, is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The core drawing layers of Flutter is on top of the standard browser APIs. Um, it is completely in Dart, 
and use Dart Optimize a JavaScript compiler. And um, when we're using a combination of DOM, Canvas, and CSS, you can use all this feature of Flutter across um, all different uh, browser. So how does it look like in the real project? So say with Amster web app, we can see that when we dig down into the code, we can see that the uh, Flutter DOM canvas um, built in, in Flutter. So as you can see with the, the code uh, example here, or in example of uh, uh, rent me, um, you can see that there's um, men.dart, a JS is Dart and use Dart optimized JavaScript compiler as shown is in this, uh, this slide. So when we uh, let's come into the next section where we do the code demo and you can easily find this um, code lab on the um, a Flutter uh, code lab building your first web application uh, using Flutter. So what we're going to build is we're going to build a simple uh, web, web page with the sign of form. And this is how it looked like. Okay, so but first, in order to start, we need to get the uh, start a web application. We need to enable the web development environment um, by uh, configuring the enable web. We need to um, do the Flutter upgrade. So right now, Flutter is still in, in uh, beta. Um, and then we need to um, config, as I mentioned, uh, enable web. It's going to take some time, but yeah, OK. So next, we I think we should run Flutter Doctor to see if any issues. Cool. So it seems like there's no issue found. And then nextly, we move into uh, see what there's a Flutter device. Good. Now we see that there's a web server and the Chrome. OK, so um, I understand that many um, beginners, many uh, new um, developers who want to explore Flutter, um, who doesn't want to go through all this hustle of install and config the ID, um, there's a good news for you guys, because now that we have um, the that part, the that pad with Flutter support um, for, for uh, Flutter project and Dart. Um, as it's shown over here, um, in the code lab, we actually have the, um, the sample code that you can just copy and paste into uh, Dartpad and click Run. And here, they will already have the um, starter web application. Okay. So in our IDE, we will we'll click on a simulator. And this time, it's not iOS or Android device, but it's the Chrome web. OK, so this is how it should look like. Awesome. So next, we need to um, show the welcome screen by adding the class definitions for the, the welcome screen widget. And uh, we need to update the button. So when we press the button, it will lead to the welcome screen. Then um, we need to add the uh, show welcome screen method. And we add the route. So um, I mentioned this, all of this uh, is included in the um, Flutter um, code lab. So if you want to, uh, in your own time, you can also visit and um, you know try it on your own. So when it's come to um, showing the welcome screen, this is how it should look like. So when you click on that uh, blue button, sign up, it will lead you to the welcome screen. Yeah. OK. So set number two, we need to enable the sign-in progress tracking. So remember, when we key in our information, we want the user to complete the entire form before they can submit. So um, we need to en enable this, this uh, tracking process, uh, progress tracking by um, adding the method to uh, update the form progress. And then we call the update form progress in the form when the form changes. And uh, we update the on press button, um, the, the property again, and add the animated progress indicator. And uh, this is the final product. So if you can see, when I key in my name, um, my username, um, and now it's allow me to um, click into the sign up button, and it's lead to the welcome screen. So I think it's uh, pretty uh, uh, straightforward. Um, 
And I want to also mention there's the Dart Dev tool that is incorporated in, in your IDE. Uh, with this, um, they already have the support for Flutter web app. Um, however, their um, web app can be used cannot be used with the timeline memory and performance views. Um, instead, you can still use the uh, browser tools such as the Chrome Dev tools, um, especially for the Flutter inspectors. It's only work with the Flutter apps um, for other web applications. You can also use the traditional, you know, like popular tools, the Chrome Dev tools, is what the uh, web developers are using. So in conclusion, um, I do believe, again, you know, Flutter code run in the web browser, it will open up a lot of possibility. So um, that's a will be an easy path for developers to take the existing more applications to the web. And now that we have uh, Dartpad and uh, CodePen also, that, that can let you quickly experiment that, uh, with dark code and flutter without having all the the hustle of installing the id i think it will lower the the entry uh, barriers for um new uh, beginners or um you know other people to start exploring this uh, framework so um flutter still in beta right now is far from production ready but um i think they're definitely heading to the right direction um, if you're looking for something to build on the web, um, maybe is not ready yet the best option right now. However, I do think that it would be well worth for you to, to consider to explore. Um, because when it comes to the massive benefits of having one code base um, in, in multiple platform. So uh, will Flutter for web eventually able to replace traditional web development? Um, Maybe I'll leave it to you to decide. And um, maybe you can, on your own time, try to code lab yourself to explore whether it is for you or not. And uh, with that, I would like to uh, conclude my section. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to share with us on the, uh, the comment box. Thank you. So this is one. This is Vinod from YouTube. Uh, Vinod is asking how much easier it would be to move Flutter for web development from a React.js background. Okay. Um, I actually did try React.js before. And uh, for me, I do find that um, Flutter is, is easier for beginners um, because it's more visual, especially for, for someone like me. When I look at certain applications, um, uh, with the support of the material design and the widget uh, layout, it helped me a lot with my um, designing and planning and coding process. So um, if I were to say that for, for, for JS to Flutter, I think uh, it's quite intuitive for, for, for me, especially if you, for you, especially if you're a visual learner like me. So I don't think it's a problem. So just maybe just you know, starting out trying some code, um, code labs like I, I just show you. Um, there are also a lot of um, tutorials online or you they need that you can explore. All right. So I think we also have another one. This is also coming in from YouTube. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, Drew <laughs> Mita. So um, what is the best ID to use Flutter for web development? Um, I think it's come down to two options, uh, VS Code, or um, I actually use Android Studio to do this. <laughs> but VS Code is a popular one um, uh, with, with, with everything um, incorporated in, in that. Um, it's pretty simple um, uh, uh, layouts of the ID as well. So it's pretty intuitive to use. I try both. Um, so it's just a matter of your preference. Yeah, so VS Code or Android Studio is still fine. All right. I think we have time for one last question. So this is by Vina asking from YouTube. Hi, Leah. How about the form validation on Flutter? Is that similar like JS validation? Uh, I think it's somewhat similar. Um, like like uh, the for me, Flutter is just for the um, for the uh, user interface only so whatever is come in the in the back end is similar with other um, stack that you can use um, so i don't think it's much 
different, if I understand your questions correctly. 